Hey guys, Clint Hall with Alternative Athletics here. What I want to talk today is about everything that happens when you're working out that nobody thinks about. It's, it's stuff that your doc tells you, it's stuff that makes sense, but knowing something and not implementing it is as good as not knowing it. So everybody thinks you want to go to the gym to get, you know, looking good, buff, get all flexy, maybe you're out trying to find dates. But for a lot of people, they're like, I don't need that anymore. I'm at an age, I'm complacent, whatever. But I wanna think about other things. So at Alternative Athletics, our general goal is to raise your athleticism. And although that sounds like, hey, you're trying to make me look better, whatever, honestly, the markers that we see in athletic performance are gonna tell us what's going on when you go to the doctor's office. So if I see that your 400 meter run is happening quicker, or better yet, you're stopping less, Odds are you're probably getting better lung capacity, better blood pressure. If you get better at lifting weights, it doesn't have to be that you're the strongest guy in the gym, but if you're better now than you were six months ago, there's gonna be a good odds that your bone density is uh, quite a bit higher. And for a lot of people as we age, that's really important, especially office workers, knowledge workers, whatever you would call it, we tend to sit around a lot. 5K row, if I see your 5K time drop on the rower, once again, we talked about lung capacity, but I want you to think about the other side of lung capacity. Yes, it's great to be able to keep up with the kids, go on a hike in the mountains where there's less molecules of air so it's harder to breathe, but more importantly, not too long ago, higher lung capacity, better VO2 max, greater respiration, meant that you had a higher survivability rate with COVID. Another thing too I want you to consider, these aren't directly correlates, but I can promise you that if you get better at pull-ups, push-ups, box jumps, ring dips, general moving of your body, your HDL is gonna go up, your LDL is gonna go down, and along with it, your triglycerides. All right, one thing that really touches my heart, it's really important to me, strong people are harder to kill. That's my favorite Mark Ripito quote, and it doesn't matter whether you're in a car wreck or you're dealing with breast cancer, being healthy, being in better shape gives you a higher chance of survivability. And that's not just for you, that's for everybody around you.